Today we're going to speculate why unhealthy people are being used in marketing. Hey there, NJRoot22.com with another low carb keto carnivore chat. It's also a general health chat as well as marketing and uh, mainstream media. We're going to talk about uh, this uh, recent trend, I guess over the last few years, maybe a decade or so. It's about unhealthy people. And when I say unhealthy people, I'm talking in this particular instance about overweight people or even, you know, morbidly obese people being used in marketing like uh, clothing companies in particular and other visual products that require people in them. For the most part, what you're hearing these days in the, in the mainstream is that, oh, this is inclusive. We're being inclusive to people that aren't included in these magazines like a Victoria's Secret or any kind of clothing company. And the mind says, oh, we should include everybody. It's only fair. <laughs> like in Victoria's Secret instance, instance, when it comes to being sexy, you know, being obese is not attractive. I don't care. If you're obese and you look in the mirror, you look at yourself and you, there's no way in hell, unless you're on drugs and you just, you're lying to yourself that you look attractive. It's just not attractive. That's not the way your body is. Just because you shove cookies and other carbs and foods in your body and you gain girth and, and you just look disgusting, really. It's unhealthy. Your body's carrying around all this extra weight. Back in the day, people actually would uh, strive to lose weight because they weren't happy with the way they looked, their own appearance. They looked at themselves and said, this is not attractive to myself or anybody else. Even a fat person doesn't like looking at fat people. They're removing the incentive to get in shape. There's nothing, there's no role model anymore. If you see a fat person on the cover of Victoria's Secret, you're going to think that's okay. You're not even going to bother trying to, to look up to a, a skinnier or more in shape model. I have to say, to be fair, a lot of the models that you saw in these, these catalogs for many years and decades, they were extremely underweight and they almost to set a uh, unfair kind of level to reach. They were really ridiculous because the camera adds pounds, you know how it goes, and they, they looked really like f flawless. They could wear anything and have no flappy overhang. Wearing sexy lingerie, frankly, it's, it, it should be under the dictionary as putting lipstick on a pig because it's, it's still a pig underneath there. But uh, these things are politically suicidal now to say that. But I understand what these companies are doing now. They like to talk about inclusiveness, like, oh, what a good company they are. They're allowing the fat people to uh, get recognition in these catalogs and so on. But I bet you this, and all, they're also appeasing the social justice warriors who need inclusiveness and everybody has to be represented. It, and, a hint, they're being overrepresented now, uh, especially when it comes to race and orientation. But I know why these companies are doing it. They're doing it because it's all about the money. They know that the majority of their customers now are not skinny people or healthy people. They are big, unhealthy, fat people that are, are their market share now. The majority of the people in this country are now fat and overweight. So they're, not, they're losing money by showing all these skinny people. So they're marketing to their customers. That's all they're doing. When you see this Victoria's Secret catalog, that's who buys this crap, fat people. So they're just saying, oh, you know, we have to make the fat our big you know, paycheck feel uh, comfortable. And that's why they do it. And you, you would want, want to market to the people that are buying your stuff. So that's why they put these fat people on there. I bet you anything, if the uh, obesity level goes down drastically in the next few years, these fat people are going to go off the catalogs too. Inclus inclusivity or not. So that's it. That's my opinion on why they're doing it. It has nothing to do with inclusiveness and all about the Benjamins. If you like this video, please hit the bell and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.